Hello everyone, welcome to Mercury in the 11th house of your chart. It's good for you if Mercury is placed 11 houses away from your ascendant or indeed from your moon sign. And it's also good for a Western chart. Make sure you have sign for a house system. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. Let's begin. What is the 11th house in your chart, everyone? It's a house of Aquarius in the natural zodiac. It's actually equated to Rahu. It's a house of all your desires that keep you having rebirth in this material world. It's a very karmic house. It's also where you get your gains and your assets because it's the second house to the 10th house of Korea. So what you earn is shown in this house. It's your profit in all sorts of endeavors. It's politics, network circles, group concerns, serving humanity. But it's also the sixth from the sixth, and in this way shows obstacles in your life. And the fifth from the seventh, it can even show affairs when you are married. It's the 12th house to the 12th house, so it takes you out of isolation into society, shows your friendship network circles. As well as this, it's the house that gives you all the gains that pay for your losses, 12th house. But of course, it also takes you away from liberation, ensuring rebirth. And who is Mercury? Mercury in the Vedic system is known as Buddha. He is a son of Tara, but she was the wife of Jupiter, and she had an affair with Chandra the moon. This was, however, described as a rape in actuality, and coming about outside of marriage in this difficult way, he had to use all of his charm and his wit and his beauty to get into the good books of his stepfather, Jupiter. But Jupiter was kind to Mercury and gave him the most incredible knowledge of how to actually make things work in this material realm. Particularly, he gave him rulership over the earth element, including plants and nature. Mercury rules adaptability, travel, business, money dealings, the rational mind, intelligence, learning, dexterity and memory itself. Mercury has supreme organization skills. He rules language and all communication, both written and spoken. He is a karaka for friends in our chart and also for the sister. Now, Mercury is quite happy to be in the 11th house. He's the business planet, money planet. He likes to be where there are gains to be got, obviously resources to be gained, and he likes to network, socialize. So... He can have quite a good time in this house if he is not afflicted. But most importantly, you must check the sign of Mercury to see the karmas you are bringing with this planet. Check the link below to Mercury Karmas All Signs and I will also link at the end. So if Mercury is not too afflicted in this house, he will give you ability for business, for stockbroking, for money management, accounting, anything to do with making money go round in your life. Mercury will circulate it in a big way. He will give you the ability to work on your own even, to be independent, entrepreneur. Mercury makes you very savvy, very streetwise almost with this position. But most of all, Mercury likes to plan ahead. His organizing skills are superb in this house. If he is not afflicted, as I say, and he's left to do his own thing, he will work very well for you here. You're going to have that whiteboard in your house full of all your plans in your kitchen, maybe wherever. You're going to have those jotter pads and all of your diaries and internet connections are all geared up to planning ahead. But here's the thing, if Mercury is not too well placed by sign or afflicted by malefics, particularly this would be, I would say, definitely K2 afflicting or Mars. Mars is a dire enemy to Mercury. You'll still be making those plans, but you'll be all over the place with them. You will be going a little bit topsy-turvy. It will be making a plan and then changing it constantly. Hard to have consistent direction. Mercury rules friendships. He's in the house of network circles. You're a natural for socializing, mixing with people, all types of people, high in society, low in society. You get on equally with almost everyone. But the quality of the planets with Mercury in this house will say everything because of Mercury's adaptability. So benefics such as Venus, Jupiter, sometimes even the moon, although an enemy to Mercury, you can make good lasting friendships who are helpful to you. You can still make lasting friendships if there are malefics, but there can be quarrels, splits and difficulties, particularly when Mars and K2 are in any way connected to Mercury. Now, Mercury in this house loves to debate, to argue even, some would say, but whenever there is a challenge to your point of view, you're up for that and you're armed with all the right information. You love this sort of intellectual challenge on any topic whatsoever. 
You could have a lot of media influence, so media career is actually great for this Mercury 11th house. Journalist, writer, blogger, social media influencer, you can do well in all of these areas. Mercury's in the 5th house from the 7th house of business. You can be a really creative entrepreneur, business person with natural business acumen with this Mercury. This is a house of income and gain, so definitely Mercury here, when he's well placed, well aspected, is going to give you gains in your life. Very often, though, multiple sources of income can be seen because you're so multi-talented. Sometimes you can have low income, sometimes high income, but generally, Mercury tends to increase. Now, the seventh aspect of Mercury shows your desire on the house of learning education. It's superb for your educational abilities, learning ability. You have enormous skill in this, and you can learn any subject quickly, and this will actually continue all through your life. But Mercury is a little bit fickle and he gets bored easily. So aspecting this house of learning education, you can be a little bit on and off with your education. You may do part-time education or stop education, of course, and then come back to it later. That sort of thing can be seen. A well-aspected, well-placed Mercury here can give you happiness with your children. Great communication is always there between you, especially sometimes daughters because Mercury represents that. But either way, Mercury aspecting here gives you skill dealing with younger people. You can be a great teacher. You get a great deal of happiness dealing with younger people generally. Mercury's aspect on the house of creativity, though, can also give you multiple talents artistically, or it can just be, as I've said, written word, spoken word. Either way, you know how to entertain other people, and you can even be a bit of a raconteur, comedian by this position. But in some way, artistic talent and communication skill will earn you money. Now, you're very good and very talented actually dealing with monetary affairs, financial affairs. You could even earn a living from it. But the main thing is you are very attracted to speculative gain at some point in your life. This could be stock market or other forms of speculative gain. Check the fifth house law to see how it's going to go to make sure that you're going to get profit and not loss. Don't forget also to check second house as well. See your karmas with Mercury in all signs up on your screen right now. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.